Well, welcome back yet again to the Galaxy campaign on the Empire Total War series. Um, if you remember on my uh, last video, um, it was very much in the top 10 or 10 minutes, and what you think, it didn't get up overnight. It actually crashed overnight. Now, I think it's one of these Windows updates that happens, you know, it's, uh, it happens occasionally. But anyway, I got it up this morning and then by this afternoon, it was um, viewable. But okay, uh, Bonnyak suggested I do some work in Jerusalem as we look around the buildings. Well, uh, normally I think the suggestions are brilliant, but um, on this occasion I really don't want to think about it. This building here is going to cost me 2000 right? There are only, what, 20 odd years left of the game. About 20 years left of the game, we've lost 19 years. Call it 20, 20, 20, 60, that's 80 turns. So there's 80 turns left. In order to get 2000 um, out of 80, that's 200 out of 8. Uh, that's 184. That is 25 out of 1, I think. 25 out of 1. Yeah, okay. So for every turn, I'm going to have to get 25. Well, at the moment, the whole place is only yielding um, 49. If I'm untapped it, I'm not going to get 25, I'm going to get 10. It's just not going to not gonna pay back for itself. Because all it does. It doesn't give me that 10, I've already got that 10. All it does is increase the 10 by 3%. So instead of 22.2% tax, it becomes 25% or whatever it is. Um, if you look here, it's telling you it's a good score. 6% um, to the tax income. Absolutely no way I'm going to get that money back. Um, I just want to see it for a We're really going on in repression, maybe, not the help in the future. Raising my troops, and therefore I think that honestly I'm going to get the money back. I'm going to get the money back. I might be seeing the reason that the weapons break is going to be the future. I don't know. Anyway, these chaps here are going to be moving over this way. I can see you with the idea of, um, of landing them on here, you know, by the front there, on here. Well, I'm probably going to be all over the place. I'm just taking the place. Looks like he's only got two units in there. Probably has. The only problem is that, that I've got one fairly depleted force in here. I think I can't get one of the Spanish troops down in here. I think there's about 60 units in all. About 57, I think, of the total I came up with. But in, amongst those three armies there in a bit, I think there's um, around about 60 in all. Um, so, um, compared with one army that I've taken here, I don't think it's, it's viable. Especially when you think there are two ways to go around here. Um, and one of them can lead without instruction to the motors, and I don't want to do it. So I'm going to bring my chaps over and put them into. Did I actually put my ships? I think I did. I should have done. Yes, I have. Right, good. So I'm going to bring those over to Naples. I should defend the car. I'm going to put them all around here. I can't do this shit in the car. Oh no, I can't do this in the car. Nope, it's definitely this car. So I'll put him into the air then. Oops that I can bring over, and I fully intend to. Um, let's just take those out of there, do I? Somewhere else I can put those. Yeah, but there's no need. So, okay, just pull those out of there for the one reason that it enables me to get this ship out of here with the troops on. Um, and bring those over to... Well, here seems quite good actually, doesn't it? Because when you land there, um, they, um, you know, the, the the troops seem to be able to get to there and well beyond, really, to be honest with you. But um, I'm not sure I need to get them beyond. I'm not sure I've got enough men really to be um, an aggressive force with these. But at least I've got enough to be able to defend Naples in the meantime, because Naples can't even recruit any decent troops. Okay, so we get those over to there. Then I can bring one of these ships, the one that hasn't moved all the way back to this nice little uh, place here where I can uh, move things around. You know, I can leapfrog ships between... Is he going in there? Yeah, he can't go anywhere, can he? Well, he can't go anywhere quickly enough anyway, so I'm going to have to reserve him for next time. So, over here, I think I worked out... Oh, where are they? I thought I had some more troops that were on the way... There they are. No? Are they? Where are they? Ah! Here they are. I think I worked out that the horse and the general that are at the back here won't be able to reach here, but um, and I, I think I want to bring them all over together. So I'm not just going to take those over on their own. We'll 
does look like they're going to reach though, doesn't it? It's really weird this. Do you remember I tested it out before and it said no? Yeah, look. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, they're, they're going to go onto those ships. Um, the ships over here in the middle... I think I've got another one. Yeah, I've got one there as well. So they can leapfrog hopefully to there, and then they'll go to that nice little dropping off point there, and then they'll move them over to there, and then they'll reinforce Naples as well. So anyway, that's the general plan. Now, I did f think that I could... Um, hmm, yeah, Naples. I could get a church school somewhere. I noticed it. Where was it? Is it in here? Is it that one? I think it is, yeah. Okay, well, let's get that then. Um, other than that, we're repairing here. We're already replenishing the troops. Can't do any more than that. Um, uh, over here, oh, I don't know. Anyway, usual stuff. Um, can't do anything more than this. Uh, hmm. It is tempting, isn't it? Maybe to recruit in there. So the Spanish leave this place completely empty. I can just jump in there and take it off. And it's not worth a great deal, but if I can clear the Spanish away from my borders, I might be able to negotiate some peace with them. Oh, by the way, I did try for a peace with Spain. This is what they say to me. Um, I, I just did this about five minutes ago just to see what they would say. So I wanted uh, request peace and request trade agreement. Uh, this is what they said to me. Oh, do you know, I thought they were going to say, ah, there are niceties, there are proposals are rejected utterly. Yeah, the, I, I forget what they said before, but they were ruder than that. <laughs> so, anyway, I think it, was, it was some kind of one that you normally get from the Arab nations, you know, so something like, you know, your breast smells of the goat herd or something like that, I don't know. Um, right, what, what was the Monty Python one? Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. Something like that, wasn't it? I love that. I used to use that for ages and ages, that, that, that phrase. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it sounded like Lord's Sour on there. Um, I think that's it. To be honest, can't think of anything else. Um, 1731, what am I up to now? Oh, yeah, just go for it, I think. I'm just going to say, what am I up to now in terms... Oh, I know I didn't do. Damn, I don't think I put that ship back in its port, did I? Did I leave a ship exposed? What was he doing up there, anyway? Hmm. I sent a missionary to Dagestan as well, didn't I? I wonder what's happened to him. I wonder if he's actually got there. Okay, let's see what the Spanish do. Are they going to attack Rome? with those two armies. No, they're not. No, they're just going to wreck my economy. That's what they're going to do. Damn. Well, I suppose that's good news in some ways, in that they don't feel strong enough to actually attack me, but then would they anyway in Rome? You know, I, I've got too strong a force in there, so... Mind you, you'd have thought they'd have sieged me, wouldn't you, if they felt powerful enough, which means that those depleted armies are not quite as strong as they actually look to me. Hmm. Now, there's an interesting idea. Hmm. Enemy raid, Siena. Yeah, okay, they're all the ones... Yeah, we know about these. These are all the ones in... Uh, oh, right, okay. And we're getting the next one up. Agent recruited, where's he? Uh, hmm, I wonder if he can do anything useful. Like kill a general, for instance can't reach that one. Maybe he could get to that one, can he? Oh no, he can only infiltrate. No general in there. Okay. Um, what can he do that's going to upset the Spanish? <laughs> I don't think I want to damage any of his buildings. Well, maybe I do. Yeah, let's go for that. Sabotage. 51%. Yeah, let's go for that. It gets him in the right place for spying and it gives him a bit of experience as well, doesn't it? That's good. Ah, now we have one of these. Uh, hey? Right. Okay, him. And he's going to go, I don't know, over to Dagestan again? <laughs> I don't know, really. Um, he just needs to go somewhere where there's Catholicism still. Uh, do you know, we seem to have done a very good job of converting everywhere now, don't we? There's only Venice down there, but actually, Rome is going to need it, isn't it? Eventually. You see all these now, they're all... Pretty sure they're all converted. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, okay, really, I think he needs to come over this way, doesn't he? Uh, okay, let's get him going 
in this general direction then. OK, he might be able to help out with Venice a bit while he's over there, mightn't he? Venice should now be on its way, shouldn't it, to becoming Orthodox eventually. Good, because we got rid of all those Italian priests, didn't we? OK, path blocked. Who's this? I wonder if this is the one... I was going to say, I wonder if it's the one to Dagestan. Who's blocked there, then? I don't know. I don't know who is blocked there. Uh, anyway, never mind. Perhaps we should try again. It says here, doesn't it? I mean, what? Did somebody try and move? Maybe it was him trying to get back in there and he couldn't. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense. Agent recruited. Uh, is that. Ah, oh, there's one here, isn't there? A spy behind here. Well, let's get him out then and over to. Yeah, he's mine, isn't he? Um. And we're orthodox there as well, so... I'm going to put this spy then. I think I might sort of move him... Uh, I don't really need spies, do I? Maybe... If they broke an alliance, I'd be really in trouble if they broke an alliance anyway, wouldn't I? Uh, I think... Maybe up to here for now. And then afterwards, beyond there. Uh, for now, you see, I, I want to keep him off the road, so I don't want him to be in a position where he can get in the way of my own troops. So, OK, construction report. Church school, very good. Uh, wineries, very good. Another one? Another one? Wow. Um, this is uh, surprising, to say the least. Right, OK. Um, him also this way, perhaps? Right, OK. Um, hmm. Right, agent recruited, agent recruited, recruited, recruited. Excellent. Ah, there was one I needed to look at, wasn't there? Because Ah, right, OK, I remember now. It's the one I sent damaging buildings. Is it this one here? There he is. I really need to get him out of there, otherwise I'll forget that he's there, won't I? Let's get him out, say, to here. OK. Perhaps to there. I don't know. But anyway, I need him out of the building. Otherwise, I'll forget he's there, you see. Army? Not brilliant. But, you know, I could jump in there, you know, and take that. Especially if I could get mortars in here. But I can't, can I? I could go in with my um, howitzers, of course. Might be worth upgrading this. Five turns. And then I can get... No, they're still 12 pounders, aren't they? Be nice to get something better. Uh, hmm. Is it this one where I was getting my... Yeah, it was, wasn't it? My better quality ones. Still 12 pounders, though. Um, the next one perhaps gives me the 24 pounders, does it? Yeah, the next one. Hmm. Might be worth upgrading to that. That could be the one that's worth thinking about, so I can get my 24 pounders. And then perhaps just feed them through here instead of having to build this place up, because it's quite a good central place for attacking all sorts of things, that one, isn't it? So, OK, well, hang on to that. Now, in the meantime, I need to do something about him. Um, can I attack him with them? Nine of them. What's he got in there? They're depleted. He's got 15. Hmm. Dragoons, um, line infantry, some pikemen even. He's got some pretty poor quality troops in there, hasn't he? Range 90. Uh, instead of something, have got to watch out for those, of course, the Dahomey Amazons. Um, he's, got some he's got some pretty rubbish troops in there, actually, to be honest. Dragoons, uh, these and these. Mm, I'm just worried that... Uh, anyway, I'll show you what i got in mind. Um, there are these troops, remember, that I was telling you about before. Uh, wherever they are. Over here, I think. See, they're pretty close to getting on. The, tro the other troops are already on there, which means that there's very little movement um, that they're going to be using up at this end, which means that they should have a lot of movement, of course, at the other end. So I can move these over to... Where is he? This one up here. Him, there. There isn't another one I can get them to, is there? No, there isn't. OK, well, I'll get them over to there, then. Cool, that took a long time. Right, and then you... Perhaps out to there. Good. Now you, with all the army on, you can move out to this nice little... 
uh, bouncy board area here, I think. Yeah, on this occasion I might have been better going to there, but anyway, never mind. I think we'll be okay. So him to there. Good. Now, him and one of these ships out to here. Yep, good. And then him, hopefully, he can reach the port that I need. Damn, he can't reach. I wanted to get there, really. I wanted to get there and attack there, because there isn't um, a port. For, there is a port there, but I don't think they're going to be able to get all the way to there in one turn. So, uh, damn. I'm going to need to land there. But I can't reach. Is there another ship I can get on? Obviously I can use these ships, but maybe that's what I'm going to have to do. There isn't another one. There is. There's this one. Aha! Let's use that one then. Okay, over to here. I'd forgotten all about that. Hmm. I could even try out the troops, see if they can reach from here. No, there's no way they're going to reach all that way, is there? So, okay, um, that one out to here. Okay, and this one over to there. Good. Now, I'm hoping I've got a big enough army there to beat him. Now I've got how many? I've got 16 and he's got 15. My troops are better. My troops have experience. My troops have no depletion whatsoever. Um, and we can hit him from a greater distance than which he can hit us. The only thing is those Dahomies are going to be able to shoot from a greater distance than we can. He's got two, three, four lots of horse. One, two, three, four, five lots of horse. Yeah, that's where our advantage is. I, we're going to murder him, aren't we, really, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah. Um, the only thing is, these, really. My concern is that if I attack him from there, he's going to retreat straight past me and right into the heart of here. Um, so my army will end up there. He'll end up in the middle of there. And then next turn he can just go to here, can't he? Which is not good. Um, if I attack him from this side and don't use these, then the problem that I'm going to get is that I won't be able to use my mortars. I can't attack these because there's a red area there. I could go straight for there, of course, and take this place. don't want to do that yet. I really want to sort out there. I think what I'm going to have to do is... Um, attack him just with those troops there and then bring these on and, and then use these to, to mop up any remnants anything that's left over I think that's probably going to be the most sensible way to do it isn't it um, hmm yeah okay it's, it's a strange anomaly in this game that because I've attacked from there he will retreat this way even though I've got another force here stopping him it's extraordinary, isn't it? But, OK, I'm going to have to do that. Before I do that, I want to clean up these ships, because um, it bothers me when I've got these ships in the wrong places and I don't know who's where, you know. Cause it sort of makes me think, oh, have I done my ships or not? And it just sort of preys on my mind a little. So, right, OK, yeah, him to there, isn't it? Yeah, OK. Now, I don't think I've got any... Oh, no, it's him the next one, isn't it? I don't think I've got any other troops that I need to bring over from these areas. So I don't think I need those sloops anymore to be bringing anybody across. I know I've got troops over in Dagestan and various places like that, bits of places, but I, I kind of think I need them there for now. I'm going to sort of leave some troops around those places, you know, those dragoons and stuff, you know, but... OK, so I need to get him perhaps somewhere else. So in other words, the, my sloops need to be in the northern areas, so if anything attacks the south, I can move troops back to it. You know, if anybody decides to invade through here, for instance, I can bring the sloops back, get yeah, the troops back on the sloops. Um, what I need for now, though, really, is to protect my ports. So I think I'll bring him up to here. Protect my ports, and hopefully at some stage launch an attack through to there. Um, so I'm going to come over to this port. Yep. Right. 
Okay, so next time I can bring troops out from here to here to here and then over to there and in the meantime defend my port. Yeah, that's the general gist of it. Hey, look at that. That's been hit, hasn't it? The, the Barbary States. They're not in a good position, really. Um, and that's the one that borders on me. I think I should be quite safe from an attack from the land anyway. And like I said, I can see a long time in advance if anybody's going to go for me, can't I? So, yeah. Okay, now... Is there anything... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, this is the last place I took. So this will be where all the, the new buildings need to be put up, etc. So I think what I'll do then is I'll get this army to sort him out first. Oh, excuse me. Hiccuping now, don't know why. Right, am I going to have enough to sort him out with this army? I could add to it with the army behind. I could, you know. I could bring some of those over. And if you think about it, I don't really need horse in there, or even guns. I could add, definitely. Okay, so I've got room for four. Aha! Right, that would definitely tip a good balance in my favour. And if he attacks me in there, I only need the foot anyway, so... Right, okay, what haven't I got in here? I haven't got guns. Um, and he has. Right, I can hit him with the mortars. If he comes to attack me, I can hit him with grape shot, can't I, from these. Um, right, let's have a couple of guns then, because they're pretty useless in a defence anyway. Right. Oh, damn, I need to check again, is it? Yeah, four. I've got space for, isn't it? Right, okay. Oh, blimey, check again. Has he got a general? Yes, he has. Right, okay. One. Two. Three. Four. They're the ones I least need in defence, aren't they? So, okay. Let's get those up to there as well, then. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. And then we can attack him with a full 20. Excellent. He's dead meat, isn't he? Right, well, this should... That's in my favour, but I'm going to fight it. This should finish the video. I'm up to 22 minutes now, or 22 and a half. So, um, so I'm surprised it's not even more in my favour than that. He's got 974 facing 1344. He's dead, isn't he? But, hmm... Okay, ah, I'll tell you what I could have done with. I could have done with checking, you know, whether he's got... Uh, he must have fight by rank, but, you know, checking if he's got the new model bayonet drill and stuff like that. I can't believe he's got pipe, man. Look at that. In fact, look at that. 86, 96, 112, 24. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going to be murder, isn't it? But he is going to escape with some. These horse are definitely going to get off the field, and that's a pain. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll bring you in when, when I've got everything lined up and the battle is ready to start, so we save a bit of time. And we can finish the video with a battle. Well, the way I see this, the Spanish haven't got a lot of options open to them. I've got um, howitzers, mortars, mortars at the back here, but should still be able to get in range of the enemy. There's um, an amazing sort of um, uh, landmark here, a terrain piece. Look at this. Nothing can get through there. The whole of that area is defended, so I've just got one infantry unit on this side here. I've got three lots of horse over there, so if anything does try and go round... I think my horse should sort them out, to be honest with you. So, most of my infantry are over this side. I've still got them in three ranks, which is how I like them. And and three of my horse over this side as well. So, general at the back, as normal. Um, all the guns um, are either on incendiary shot from the mortars and howitzers, or the, um, the cannons are on um, grape shot for anything that comes over the hill. And that's basically what it's all about, because um, I don't want to target them with, um, uh, with, with ball. Um, because I'm just going to hit the hillside, so really I just want to hit anybody that comes over that hill, you know. Um, right. Oh, do you know, I thought somebody was hitting me then, but it's not. It's my shots going over and hitting him, isn't it? So, let's see if he's bringing anybody over um, in an attack. I don't think he is. Um, what's that? 32. Looks like we've hit something already. 32 out of 34. 15 out of 15. They're horse artillery. I don't expect they're in range, but even if they are, I don't think they're going to be able to hit me because they're not going to be able to reach over the hill. Uh, if you look over there, you see I've done very much what Wellington did, really. I've deployed on the reverse side of a hill, so the enemy artillery can't really do me any significant damage. I don't think they can do me any damage at all, to be honest with you. Um, the difference between me and Wellington is that I can hit the enemy without him being able to hit me, which is great, isn't it? So, 
Looks like we're actually going to hit his artillery. I don't see any point in that, really, because his artillery can't hit me. So, Oh, on the other hand, he might come a little bit closer. If he does that, it will make a difference. So maybe we should hit his artillery. The only thing is, um, once the enemy realise they have no counter-battery fire, they have nothing to match my own artillery, that's when they will decide to charge. So I'm better off not taking out his artillery. I'm better off taking out his infantry, really, um, and destroying all of them um, while he thinks that his guns are still engaging me, which obviously they're not. Um, okay. Let's not hit the horse, because that just gets them to charge me. We've already had that discussion, haven't we? So, uh, fairly recently. I don't think these can... Oh, they can! Wow, I'm really surprised that they can reach. But, okay, I want to hit the Dahomey Amazons, wherever they are. Militia, line infantry, foot... Uh, what are they? Pikemen. Right, okay. Um, militia, light dragoons, line infantry... Artillery. Where are they? Where are... I bet they're hidden. Regiment of Horse. I don't know where they are. There must be some Dahomey Amazons along here somewhere. They're definitely militia, aren't they? Yeah? Okay. Hmm. No, don't quite understand that. Uh, right, uh, they're obviously hidden. And there are there is a gap, perhaps just about here. Maybe that's somewhere where people can hide. I'm really not too sure. But anyhow, I'll... Um, yeah, maybe that's the continuation of the line. Let's count how many he's got. He's got one over there. Right, which is really strange that they're out on their own. So that's not quite real, is it? So one, two, three, four, five, six... Three... For, oh, hang on, did another one appear then? No. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's only one unit hidden. Wow, it's got to be there, hasn't it, really? Um, right, okay, well, if it's there... Is he actually f he's firing at me? He shouldn't be hitting, though. I'll check that in a moment, but... Um, Let's see how effective the fire has been of mine so far. Not very good at all. This could end up being a very long battle. I thought it would be much more exciting than this. I thought we'd get him riled and then he'd come and attack us. But you know, I don't think he's going to do it. So I'm going to take out one of his units at a time. Make him retreat towards my army that I've got in Naples. Who can then just go and eventually polish him off. I think that's going to be the way to do it, isn't it? So, right, okay, well, let's... Oh, what's happening there? Yeah, it's going to take a long time in counter-battery fire, and I really don't see much point. So, let's punch a hole in his line. Not those. 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 And those. Let's punch a hole in here, and then see what happens when we start to hit this militia. Because I suspect, you see, if we hit here, we're not likely to hit any horse, are we? And if we hit here, remember he didn't have a general either, so there's nobody at the back there that can suddenly appear. My new generals would be shown anyway, wouldn't they? So... Hmm. Okay, if I hit here, then can they hit as well? Yeah, they can. Good. Okay. If I hit here, there's a chance those Dahomey Amazons might appear here. If they're not here, I suspect they'll appear over here. Right, okay. None of these have been hit yet, have they? No. Okay. Right. Hmm. This could be another very long battle. Because he's waiting for me, for me to attack him. Uh, and I've made the game length um, as long as I can. So, well, infinitesimal. Um, which is what I would do, isn't it, really? You think about it. I'm not going to rush a battle like this, am I? When I can outrange somebody else. The whole idea of having an artillery advantage is to coax the enemy to come and attack you. So there's no way I'm going to give away that advantage, is there? So, um, how many has he got? 83 out of something. Okay. Oh, right. 10 out of 120. Oh, good. We got some of those then. Right, okay. 
I think what we're going to end up doing is um, making all these units about half size um, and routing off the field for my second army to go and polish off. Uh, if that happens, then they'll route it twice so they're all gone. So all my second army have got to do basically is route them. Um, his guns are going to get away, I'm afraid. Unless, mind you, if I don't target them, there is a chance that maybe, if they're the last ones on the field, I can simply chase them off with my horse, but we'll see. Anyway, like I said, it, it looks like this is going to be an extremely long battle. I'm going to keep away from his horse. Um, uh, now, oh, actually, the question was asked, you know, wh why do I um, attack horse when it makes them come on? Well, it does. And the reason for that is that, in, certainly in a situation like this, is that the horse would come and attack me. Um, so I could then shoot out his horse, which means then that there's nothing to defend his artillery or his infantry for when I chase them off the field afterwards. Well, on this occasion, I'm not too worried about that. I don't mind if things escape, so long as they escape in a very depleted form, so that my second um, army can go and polish them off. I don't want to lose any of my troops in this army if I can help it, because it'd be really nice to be able to move these across Italy and attack that army, or at least approach the army that's attacking Rome as well. So. I might be able to clear out all the troops that are currently in Rome. And that would be very nice, wouldn't it? So, okay, well, I'm up to 31 minutes of video time anyway. So, it looks like we're going to watch this one go, doesn't it? Um, anything that happens, anybody attacks, I'll let you know and bring you back in. Okay, back in a second, folks. Well, I took quite a few hits in that one, and he managed to get plenty off the field. I'm just hoping none of them are artillery. Um, I did it so that I hit all his infantry first, and while his guns were still, some of them were just managing to get the trajectory to go over the hill and hit some of my men. Um, uh, anyway, uh, I, I left his guns to the very last, I targeted his horse, what was left of them, um, towards the end, they came running at me, but by then they were quite depleted, so they just got blown away really. Um, then his artillery, um, I went for those, they've broke virtually instantly, I chased them off the field, and would you believe, one unit of horse artillery actually outran me, and I'd done the battle in that way, just so no guns whatsoever got off the field. Anyway, you can see all the results there, um, and I'm not even going to look at them, because I know what happened, and... Ah! Now then! If one good, that's the horse artillery! Oh, honestly, unbelievable, isn't it? Um, I, I think it's just case, well, they're going to murder them, aren't they, basically? Um, and these guys are going to... Oh, I was going to say they're going to come through and help out with this attack here. But I don't think they're going to be able to reach. Um, but anyway, that's for another day, because it's now gone midnight. Um, it's taken me ages and ages to do that battle in the way that I wanted to. I'm going to have to remember to chase those, of course. I'm sure I'll remember that. Uh, these are going to have to go from an attack. Sorry, these are going to have to attack those. Um, actually, what's that? Walloon Guards. Elite Infantry. Very smart. I might do an auto-resolve on that, you know, because it's two armies. So I might bring that one across to here. Um, I thought they'd have been able to reach, you know. Okay, bring those. I know what it is. I bet you it's those extras that I brought over, like those. And they won't be able to get in anyway, so there's no point in even bringing them. If I leave those behind... Uh, right. And if I leave the guns behind... I think the guns came over as well, didn't they? Yeah, look at that. I can get there now. Well, look. Okay, I'm going to get to within their range, and then I'm going to attack from here, and I'm going to do an auto-resolve just to clear all of those out of the way. In fact, should I do that now? Maybe I should. Um, hmm. No, nope. I'm going to leave it till the next video. Um, clearing those out of the way, and yeah, destroying those, and then we should be in a position to move down and sort out what's left of the Spaniards down here. I suspect they can't recruit very much down there anyway. What can Look at that! Governor's residence! That's all they can recruit from down there. So where are they getting their troops from? There's no Spanish areas around there. Ah, they must be importing them. Hmm. In that case, um, they've had it, haven't they, really? I mean, they've got an old gun there. They've got poor infantry in there. Well, they've got some line, but they've got um, pikemen still in there. Um, and I don't know where they're getting these from, the line infantry. 
they, they really must be importing them all, mustn't they? They certainly can't be getting them from there. But anyhow, um, he's dead in the water, isn't he? Well, not dead in the water, but you know what I'm saying. So um, that will clear Italy. I then replenish my troops. I should be able to get enough troops together to go and attack that, perhaps next turn, maybe the turn afterwards. Um, and then we've got uh, Lombardy. And I was going to say that's a good income, but it's not. 2-8 something. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I also need to plan what, where I'm going to spend all this extra money.